Good morning, vlogsters, and those who are not part of my channel, but just want to looky loo to so so they can whatever. <laughs> I'm in a fairly decent mood this morning. Sorry. The downside of having a beard or a mustache is you always have to do, deal with the hairs to get loosened into your mouth. Um, but that's part of my life now, and, you know, I am enjoying it. Um, towards the end of this video, you will see some pictures of what we've gotten done. The first set of pictures are the pictures from the old guest room. Basically, all that stuff in that room is yard sale stuff. Next, the next picture will be basically uh, a group of boxes that are sitting in my dining room. The boxes that don't have any lids are basically boxes that are going for the yard sale. The other boxes with lids are the holiday boxes, uh, some of the holiday boxes we've gone through already and purged. So for those of you who are thinking that this is a joke, no, it's not. No, um, it's happening. Uh, so I am, I'm happy to oblige those who think we're not uh, purging or anything like that with those pictures. Um, but I'm kind of excited this morning. I got a really good night's sleep, even though I did have to get up at the butt crack of dawn to take the dog out for a walk, but that's part of being a fur baby owner. Um, and then, of course, uh, Dre had to get up early to go to a uh, an appointment that um, I don't need to go to because it's just, you know, the uh, uh, wound care doctor. And I've gone there so many times that it's just like, okay, I'm just sitting back there and listening. I already know what the wounds look like. Um, her right side is basically pretty much healed up. It's just, uh, um, it builds up dry skin because it's still healing, but it's not oozing or bleeding or, or anything that really needs a bandage um her left side because it's the bigger of the two um it's got four different spots on her back that are still healing up and they do bleed from time to time um not profusely just enough to say oh uh, yeah you bled a little um <coughs> so i'm not worried about that appointment it's the um when she goes to see her oncologist or in october if we're still here she's got an appointment with her um her surgical specialist um in st louis sorry i'm just looking at the um appointments and whatnot um oh yeah i gotta do that on Wednesday, having a KCA meeting. Uh, what do I have tomorrow? It's got my name on. Oh, my therapist. Our, that's right. It's the second, second Tuesday or third Tuesday of the month. Wow. We've had three Tuesdays. Excuse me. Um, and then... September 1st to the 4th, we're having our yard sale. And then... 11, yeah, on the 11th, I have my MRI. And Jerry has her eye doctor. Luckily, they're separated um, far enough that we shouldn't have any problems. Um, 12th is another therapy appointment. Uh, 12th is also the day, oh, 8 o'clock in the morning, I do a teleconference with um, unemployment because I'm fighting for the unemployment I earned, basically. And then probably the weekend of the 15th, if not in the middle of the week, we are heading to Colorado for our second um ordeal our second um run out there to start paperwork with the cancer hospital in aurora and establishing you know connecting with doctors and and medicare medicaid whatever it is and all the paperwork we have to go through and 
I really don't know if we can do that before we move or after we move. We'll find out. We'll get all the paperwork. Basically, it's to, to the primary is to get to the uh, um, cancer doctors in Aurora and um, start working with them from afar. Um, and then getting the cancer doctors here in Missouri to send the information to them in Colorado. And um, we're also going to try to see if we can put a, a bid on a piece of land or property or see how we're going to do things because we want to move up there but we don't want to be what Jerry Ann calls house poor basically means in her mind it means that we're, we've got enough money to pay our bills and whatnot but we don't have money for extra we don't have money to go out and enjoy a day out, you know, a dinner, the two of us to go out for a dinner or go to the movies together or anything like that. Um, cause right now it's, it's basically, we are what Jerry calls house poor. We can pay the bills and whatnot, but we don't have any money for extras. We have no money for, you know, basically nonsensical stuff, you know, like, I was, I was hoping, you know, you know, having a good job, I would be able to reestablish my account with, um, Blizzard, which is the, the parent company of, um, World of Warcraft, so I can have some sort of, you know, entertainment other than watching TV, um, so, you know, I look forward to the possibility of that happening. God knows how many updates and, and refreshes and, and whatnot I might have to do, but, you know, that's one of the many things I'm hoping to do. Uh, of course, heck, I might get so interested in things outside of the realm of computers and entertainment. Um, hold on a second. Yeah, yes. Good morning. Morning. No, I decided to stay up. Oh, okay. Well, Wes is here. Obviously, you know that's probably in the house. Uh, no, actually, he's he's house. finishing up. He just okay. got done doing the uh, house, so I showed him where the where? nests were. Oh, good. Okay. But he, um, he's in my spot, so I'm just out in the street. I just want to let you know, I bought Jay, um, Kathy gave me sixty-five dollars, uh, for the the seventy-five dollars really for the Dickies cards. Oh. Remember the Dickies card we couldn't use? Yeah, so I went and got scooters and the pumpkin spice season. I got you a pumpkin spice muffin. Okay, cool. A pumpkin spice latte, like a little latte. So okay. oh, she said, watch out, I might have to taste it. Um, but I know she wanted to come out and get her and her, so you just want to wait till he's done and I can get in the driveway. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait. I'm kind of like in the okay. process of doing a video. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's all right. Just really quick, Amanda. Amanda was birthed this year. It's my oldest daughter. Really? Well, that's good. At least they're going to somebody who will enjoy them. Jerry? Jim? Yeah, I don't know what happened there. You there? Yeah, did you hear what I said? Oh, no. I said good. At least somebody will get some joy out of them. Yes, and I was thinking like, okay, Star Trek Monopoly, we never played it. It's open. She'd love it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I knew you would appreciate it and her kids appreciate it. And here comes Wes, so he's leaving. So, okay. well, if you want to come out and help us in, we'll be... Oh, no, you don't need video. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Yeah, Jerry had a very large collection of Star Trek books. Books on Star Trek, whether it was um, blueprints to compendiums to just who's who um, type books. And... One of the nurses at the wound care is a big Star Trek fan, so we decided to give her those books. Um, so that was something I was glad, I was happy about. We've got a monopoly for Star Trek that I guess when we get into that closet, which I think is one of the things, one of the small things we're going to do today, um, we'll probably give her the, uh, the Star Trek, uh, um, monopoly. Um,
probably the only monopoly we'll probably keep is either Harry Potter and and one of the originals or something like that. Um, there was a couple different um, versions of Monopoly that I saw that I was like, ooh, you know, like. But the thing is, is, is why well, have multiple mon Monopoly uh, um, boards and whatnot just because of the um, the different franchises like Harry Potter and Jurassic Park and Star Trek. I think there was a Star Wars one. Um, they've had several different ones. I think they even came out with one uh, for Transformers. <laughs> you know, so it's it's one of those like, yeah, how many versions of the same game do you need? Like with trivia. Trivia didn't just come out with um, new versions. They came out with additions, you know. So, you know, I think we have the original uh, um, trivia board with a Harry Potter edition, a new age, uh, um, different, uh, you know, an entertainment version where it's just all about entertainment, uh, a science version, which is just all about science, um, you know, the different aspects of science in in you know, how it's used and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, that front closet, uh, which is supposed to be the coat, coat closet, we have a cabinet in there that is nothing but games of one form or another. Board games, card games, uh, digital monopoly, uh, you know, things like that. And it's like, uh, I like the digital monopoly because then you don't have to worry about remembering how much money you have and how many properties you have. It's all in the uh, the top hat. It holds your information uh, up to four up to four players. Um, so yeah, it's fun. I like playing it. We haven't played we haven't played games in a long time. We've been too busy vegging out in front of a TV. And if things go the way Jerry wants it to go, and I think Mom's in an agreement with Jerry, is having the two different trailers, one for Mom so she can smoke and do whatever she wants, and one for us so we can have our perfume, our our smelly stuff, our, our incense, our uh, infusers, um, you know, stuff like that. Because me and Jerry have been missing this. I mean, every time I come in here and light incense and whatnot, and I walk out, Jerry's just like all over me because of the smell of the incense. Um, which I haven't done in a couple of days because I'm trying to pack stuff. But I'm... I'm happy things are going the way they're going. Um, we were going to have the yard sale this past weekend, but because of temperatures being in the high 90s with the humidity making it feel like 103 uh, we opted to wait until this weekend in fact what is this coming weekend's weather, 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 weather. Uh, let's see here mm, yeah today's gonna be up in 82 82 83 with humidity making it feel like well Right now, it's 75, but humidity is making it 77, which is not that bad. I mean, 71% humidity, and I've been out there a couple times going, no, nah, this is not bad. Um, but, okay, Sunday, Monday might be the only two days that might be a little uncomfortable because Sunday is supposed to be 93% at the, according to, the, to today's predictions. Uh, Monday is supposed to be 96 but Friday, Saturday is supposed to be like mid to the upper 80s. And if the humidity is low, it won't be that bad. But if the humidity is high, well, that, that might make a, a, a difference when it starts getting into the upper 90s. In fact, next Wednesday, not this coming Wednesday, but next Wednesday is supposed to be 104, 104 degrees. And I did not punch in any of the other states like Pueblo, or did I? Yes, I did. Uh, Canyon, Canyon right now is 71 degrees. It's high for the, yeah, the highest it's going to get for the next week is basically 
this coming Wednesday at 89 degrees. Let's see here, what's the humidity? Feels like 70 degrees. It's only 52% hum humidity. So it actually feels lower than it really is. Because it's 71, but it feels like 70. Because of the wind. What's the wind at? Uh, two miles per hour from the north. Northwest, so it's getting that northerly wind, which it's about that time of year they get that northerly wind. Even Pueblo is not too bad. Pueblo is supposed to be, like Canyon is supposed to be 78 as their high. Pueblo is supposed to be 83. It's currently 80, no, currently 72. Feels like 72, and they've got a, a humidity of 61 degrees with wind out of the north at two miles per hour. So it's not that bad. It's actually pretty darn good. Um, and that's what we're moving towards. You know, we're moving towards weather that is going to be exactly what it says it is, if not a little bit higher, a little bit cooler, cooler, but not that drastic, where it's like, oh, yeah, it's 98 degrees, but feels like it's 105. No, no thank you. Um, so it, it's it's one of those things where I'm looking forward to it because... I get to go, you know, not only do I get to go to Colorado where I wanted to be for ages, but I get to go into an area that the weather is not that bad. It's pretty mild. And this is the warmest time of the year. You know, uh, August, August, September is supposed to be the warmest time of the year up there, you know, or anywhere basically, because just, you know, anywhere in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, I'm actually looking to go there in, in towards, you know, late September. Where the temperatures might be, you know, you're waking up at, at 50, but, you know, by noontime, it's going to be 70, you know, type deal. Um, light, light, light hoodie type weather, you know, double, you know, not double layered just yet, but, you know, close enough. So it's kind of like, all right, I'll bring a couple of warm shirts and see if I can get it to my sweatshirts if not i'll just bring my warm hoodies you know at least one or two of them so i'm i'm really looking forward to it um i think everybody else is I, i'm not going to speak for them because i know we all have our our doubts of one form or another you know mom's doubting the weather jerry's doubting i don't know what jerry's doubting probably uh, you know cost of living I'm kind of doubting, you know, the plans of having a land, some land with two, two trailers on it, you know, but it would be nice because of the, um, it would be nice because it, it, you know, from where I stand, cost of living is cheaper, um, in the Pueblo, um, Canyon area. Uh, medical's a whole lot better than what we're getting now, from what I understand. Um, temperature's perfect for me and Jerry, and hopefully mom. Um, but there's a lot of things going on, so we'll see what happens. But anyhow, um, Jerry's back from her doctor's appointment. I'm going to go see how everything was, and hopefully everything's good. So until next time, bye.